Hello everyone and welcome to part 16 of my Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Legacy, a ROM hack by YouTuber Smith Plays Pokemon. Uh, I'm expecting this to hopefully be a fairly short part. So last time we beat Chuck, so now we have Fly. Ooh, that's really cool. Uh, now that I have Fly, what I'm gonna do is mostly play a bit of catch up quickly on some Pokemon that I knew I could get earlier that I didn't. So one Pokemon I'm gonna try and get here quickly is Hoppip. You know, there's the main Pokemon I'm about to try and catch are Hoppip and Pichu, and then I'm gonna get Lapras, and maybe I'll... You can catch Rattatata during the day? I mean, it's morning right now. I didn't think you could catch Rattatata during the morning. It's probably that rat that Rattatata probably only appears at a one percent rate. I'm gonna guess. Okay, definitely not one percent rate. I'm looking for Hoppip. Hoppip has to appear in the morning. Pidgey. So far, I've found everything but Hoppip. This is the only area of the game where you can catch Hoppip. Whoops. And that's not something that I'm, like, making up. That's in the Pokedex, right? Where is it? Oh, I can also get Lediba. That's another Pokemon I'll look to get. Right? Lediba. Right there. You can't catch Letty in, right? Oh. I guess you could get Letty in there during, uh... The... The day. Yeah. Where I am. Um... Yeah. And I press that and it tells me where I am. Skip Loom you can't catch. Yeah. So... I have to be able to get Hop up here. How many battles am I going to have to do for this hop up? There we go. Okay. Hopefully this is just a one and done kind of deal. Is it to catch Hoppip? Okay. So that's Pokemon 1 down. Pokemon 2 is gonna be, uh... Lediba. And again, for those who are wondering why I'm making the effort to capture all the Pokemon, it's because, um, you have to catch every Pokemon if you want to get, uh, Mew. Caterpie. Oh, I don't know why I skipped through that. I'm being impatient. Okay. Let's see something here. This Pichu, it looks like I'd have a 25% ch chance at catching. Lediba is 33. Okay. Uh, cause I'm gonna have to rebuy all my, uh... Pokeballs and stuff if I'm gonna try and catch uh, Lapras and uh, Celebi. I mean, I'm only assuming I'm gonna be able to get Celebi because I have the GS ball Okay 
Uh, I forgot I could fight Joey, but we're not doing that. And here we go. Another Pokemon I'm actually willing to look to see if I can find is Teddy Ursa. Let's see. I could also do Dark Cave. Like, because I have all the things you need for it. I'm just going to quickly see if I run into Pichu here. Pichu, I'll do Bellsprout. I don't think I have. Oh, I do have it. Who's... Okay. Okay, that's something I'd like to get. Speaking of running into a bell sprout. Caterpie. Because so it might be that I can't get, uh... You know... Peach you during the morning or for whatever reason. Okay. Weedle and Caterpie I have. Let's see. This Pichu definitely is not a easy to catch Pokemon. Or, well, I should say find. If it's even able to be caught here. I mean, it's supposed to be. I'll do two more battles for it. Before I do Dark Cave, let me, uh... Yeah, because otherwise I'm better off trying maybe during the day. Okay, one more. And... Bloody Bow. Okay. I'll come back during the day. And see if I could catch Pichu then. Otherwise, it'll just be, you know, I catch Pikachu and call it a day. Okay. So, I might be able to get Teddy Ursa here. And then I'm able to catch Larvitar, but I don't know how rare Larvitar is. Let's see, Zubat. So far I have not been catching the Pokemon that I want to encounter. Uh, oh, I need either Rock Smash or Surf to get over there. Okay. Yeah. So I think I actually did already get done sparse some no. Um Nope, no done sparse. Okay, one more and then I'll surf across. And then it's just how it goes from there. You know, because Larvitar is something that's easier to catch at Mount Silver, and I'm not planning on using it anyway. And, uh, Teddy Ursa, I'm sure you could catch Ursa Ring somewhere around here, too. Teddy Ursa is like one of those Pokemon where it's really like you're only supposed to be able to catch it during the day. If I need Rock Smash to get through this cave, that's going to be really annoying. Because I do not know where to get Rock Smash off the top of my head. Okay. Okay, is this going to be Larvitar Teddy Ursa? Nope, just more Geodude. Yeah, because I know you're able to get Larvitar in that area. Yeah, I need Rock Smash to go further. So let's see what's going to be here. There's going to be Graveler, Golbat, 
Okay, Teddy Ursa. Good. Ooh. A level 30 Teddy Ursa? Don't paralyze me. Okay. I hate you. Okay, at least it's asleep, so hopefully I'm able to just catch it. Okay, that was lucky. Yeah, I didn't get to look up what the catch rate of it was. It just starts off at being 16%, so... No. Okay, we'll look for... four more Pokémon. That are hopefully not just Graveler and Golbat. Level 35? That's insane. I'm not even trying to capture something like that. I have a G I have Geodude, I'm good enough with that. Level 35? I mean, I get that this is like an area that you really more access from the other side, but... Seriously? 35? I don't know, this is already stronger than the Graveler that you... No, the Graveler that you'd encounter in Victory Road could go up to, like, level 40. But when you- if you level grind it at Victory Road in Crystal Version, you'd want to do it during the day. Because that's when you can encounter Rhydon, and Rhydon gives the most EXP. Okay, Golbat. Golbat I don't want, because I have Zubat. Okay. Okay. The only other Pokemon that's worth trying to catch here is Wobbuffet, which you catch in this area of the cave, but I think it has a better chance of being found at night. So, we'll save that for later. Okay. Exploring Dark Cave didn't go well, because I don't have Rock Smash. Unless this is a Larvitar or Dunspar, so I'm not interested. Okay. Because Dunsparce definitely has like a 1% encounter rate. Unless it's only available during swarms. Okay. Um. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to fly to Olivine. And the reason we're flying here is just because it's gonna probably have the best market. And I would like to get Ultra Balls if I'm gonna try and catch Celebi. No Ultra Balls, okay. What's the max I can buy for Great Balls? Let's go with... I'm just gonna go with 10. Cause I'd rather wait till I could get... a Surf Mole. Mail. Okay. Okay, let's capture Lapras. Because it's Friday, and we don't have a job, and we got nothing better to do. Okay. Right. Worst thing that happens now... Oh wait, I want to talk to Kurt, but this is probably going to activate the Selby event. Right? Oh no, he gave me the heavy ball. Good. Okay, let's try this. What? I guess I can't get Celebi. I have to come back to talk to him later. Okay. 
so much for that. No Celebi. Because I don't remember how the Celebi event works. I know that you have to give... Normally, I think it's you give Kurt the GS ball, and then you just get to the Celebi event to activate. But it might be that you have to beat the Elite Four or have all eight badges. Well, I guess they don't want you getting Celebi that early. Okay, hopefully I can at least get Lapras. But the other thing I've done to myself now is if I want any of the Apricorn balls, I can't get any of them. Okay. I don't think there are going to be any interesting Pokemon here. Yeah. There's just Cubone, which I already caught. Onyx. Meryl, all right, but you could get Meryl in the Okay in the morning Yeah Because Meryl's a Pokemon that I'm more I'd more associate with being like easier to catch at night Okay Um, I don't want to go over there Maybe I'm- maybe- Oh, this is- See, I really am just not remembering anything. Like, I came back here before trying to get, you know, uh, I'm a mess. That's all I can say. Maybe the Omnite shell goes here. So that goes there or something. Yeah. These do really do just get harder. Yeah, I think that's right though. This thing tells me this goes here. And then this goes there. I mean, there has to be another thing that's supposed to be, like, its eye. Um... Is this it, though? Okay. This looks like a corner thing. This would potentially be another... corner piece. I honestly have no idea. It's like, what's this? Because something has to be like an eye piece. It can't be that it just has the one eye. No. That's what I'm thinking, like, that looks like something that goes on top. Mm, no. I mean, is this an eye spot? Where it would just be like this? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, that looks right there. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, like, that looks correct... ...to me. That's not correct. Or at the very least, that's not right. 
I mean, that looks like it would have a better chance of being accurate. What, because that's there? No. This has to go there. That has to be right. from the side. That's where I'm going wrong. This looks right, though. And that looks right, too. Which would just leave this and this. No. This is a hundred percent right. This is wrong. That's wrong. No, this is it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I got confused because of the eye. Ugh. All this tells me is that the helix fossil, the most holy of all items in Pokemon. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, it took me up here. Well, it doesn't do much for me now. Okay. So... My first attempt to get Lapras actually was a pr prematurely stopped on my part, it seems. Uh. Okay. I guess there's a different part of, uh, Union Cave that I'm supposed to be looking through. Cubone I already caught. I think I have everything in Union Cave, at least on the top floors. Could it be that I need to surf over this? Oh yeah. I went the wrong way the entire time. Let me guess, this guy is gonna have like a slow poke or a slow bro or something like that, Marowak. Because if I did find Rock Smash, I would teach that to Onyx. Oh. Okay.
Okay. Two Marowak. Hmm, I was kind of hoping that would KO. Go, go away. Okay, let me see something about Marowak that I'm a bit curious about. Curious if you can catch Marowak and Johto, no. Definitely only in uh, Dark Cave and Kanto if... No, I think you're always able to catch Marowak there. Hello? In a real battle, he'll demonstrate his findings. Kangaskhan, that is a Pokemon... There's... No, this guy can't normally... Ooh, that hurts. This guy doesn't normally have Kangaskhan, does he? I mean, he could normally have Kangaskhan. But Kangaskhan is definitely something that... Kangaskhan, I know for a fact, you only get in Dark Cave, because there's no more Safari Zone. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Yeah. Darn it. Oh, that was super lucky. thing I'd like to do is catch the Lapras. Bagsire. I mean, this is an easy KO. Rage, no. Rage is how I'm feeling after messing up trying to get Lapras after so long, but this time I'll get it for cert for sure. Tentacruel. Ugh. This thing just has to be everywhere. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, it's this way. Ball bat. Gross. Tentacool, tentacool, tentacool. Oh my god. Tentacool, tentacool, goal bat, Zubat. Just super annoying Pokemon. Oh boy. So this person's a cool trainer, but the question is, what is she gonna have? Holly Whirl. Am I fighting a sailor? There are too many Holly Whirl, too many Tentacool and Tentacruel, and too many Zubat and Golbat. That's all I have to say. Okay. 
I'd rather pet my babies than this. Can you catch, uh, just once a week a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. I wanted to see that Pokemon. Sorry, but I'm getting that Pokemon after this, hopefully, Quagsire. Oh my gosh. Just as bad. There we go. Oh, look at it. It's all blue. Okay. Yay! I've been waiting for this for who knows how long. And I'm never even going to use this Lapras. That's the best part. Okay. Let's see how much this does. Okay. It knows Icy Wind. So they did buff Lapras in that manner. I am not gonna... risk... attacking this again. Okay. Lapras... level 20... and... It has, let's say, 25% HP left, 14% chance, Great Ball, 21% chance, Heavy Ball, 21% chance, really? The Great Ball is only slightly, wait, no, the Great Ball is, the Great Ball is better than the Heavy Ball? Okay. I guess I'll save the heavy balls for Snorlax. Yeah, this is... bad. Oh, there you go. Super easy to catch. 14% chance. Gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides and provides a very comfortable way to get around. Oh, see? It has a different sprite. Okay. We did it. We caught Lapras. Okay. What else could possibly be here besides Golbat? Wow. N absolutely not what I was expecting. Diglett. That's a really cool... I mean... Yeah, you can catch Diglett in places other than Diglett's cave. But it feels like more iconic to have it just at Diglett's cave. That's gonna do some damage. Again with the magnitude 8. my chance of catching Diglett? Cause I'll just throw a- Diglett might be easy to catch. 100? 33% chance? Alright. We'll just go for it. I'm not waking up anytime soon anyway. Okay. Diglett's a really cool Pokemon to get here. Yeah. Because essentially what this means is like rare ground type Pokemon that you would normally not be able to get just yet. You can get here. Now, one of the cool trainers here has the starter Pokemon for Kanto. Is she gonna have, like, all the Eevee evolutions? Okay. Okay. Oh. Smart.
Oh, why'd I have to miss? Okay. Growl is not the best move to use. Okay, last time I took- yeah. Okay, Reflect will hopefully keep me alive for a bit longer. Yeah, Eevee's a Pokemon they probably don't let you catch, but I could check. If I was to make Eevee be found anywhere in the wild, it would be... I think it's Route 12 in Kanto? You know, wherever the route is by Cerulean City. And that's where I would put it, because it's near where Bill lives. That or Cerulean City. Because that's where you get the Eevee in, uh... Yeah, this person's gonna have all the Eevee evolutions. As long as I don't get burnt, that's all I care about. Oh, okay, there's a critical hit. Flareon's pretty slow, unless it's using Roar. Oh. Oh, I got burnt. Okay, now she's gonna switch to, uh, Vaporeon, which is not gonna be good. We gotta hope for Flinch, I guess. This is, I'm just not surviving this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose to this cool trainer unless I, like, decide to use a potion on Bailey. Okay. Fly's a pretty good move, but it's still a Vaporeon at the end of the day. That's what this tells me. Oh boy. I might be better off using Fly. Yeah. I'm never hitting this thing again. Okay, I'm still gonna keep hitting it. Hmm. Alright, that's lucky. I was lucky enough to confuse it, and then it's just unconfused. Okay. That was a lot of EXP. Wing attack. No. Wing attack would have been useful a little while earlier. There's no way I'm faster. And that's probably gonna be a KO. Oh, I survived. That's not surprising. Oh yeah, and then I got hit with the... <laughs> okay. Hoping that it'll stay asleep for a bit longer. Just long enough for me to at least 
beat win this battle. Because I can't survive any longer in here. stay asleep for this best. So all those sand attacks didn't end up helping this cool trainer very much. You can't catch it, right? So the only way to get all the EV evolutions is probably to just keep breeding it. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Okay. Alright. Uh, there's more exploring to do around here. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, at least for Friday, we accomplished our goal, which was to, uh, capture Lapras. Uh, so thanks for your time, everyone, and hope you have a good day.